Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a book that I found in the new section of my library. I saw it and it took me right back to being in like third and fourth grade and really interested in the ancient world and that is Mesozoic Art, Dinosaurs and Other Ancient Animals in Art. This is a collection of illustrations in the realm of paleo art which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, dinosaurs and other ancient animals in art and this collection is edited by Steve White and Darren Naish. So this is what the cover looks like. As you can tell it's quite a big book but I wanted big. I wanted all the pictures that I could get and I was excited to read this and this book did not disappoint. It is kind of so big that I'm having trouble keeping it in the frame so we're going to kind of hold it back here. Mesozoic art. So this book doesn't just have one artist or maybe one or two artists that are presenting their work, but rather it's broken up over 20 artists. So the artists have a variety of styles as well as variety of experience or the way that they're engaged with paleo art. So some of these are professionals who've been doing it for years. They've worked with a lot of big names in the industry and they've worked on a lot of big projects. And others are people who have just picked up this hobby recently. Maybe they reconnected with their childhood love of dinosaurs or the ancient world or other ancient creatures that lived in the past and decided they wanted to translate this into a hobby and this hobby has garnered such respect that they've been able to get noticed and put re get recognized and be put in a book such as this. I'm going to show you the collection of artists. There's a wide number and they're all up here. And one thing that I find really cool is this book, because it features so many artists, features a wide variety of styles. So at, even as you flip through the book, you'll quickly notice that the each artist puts their own distinctive stamp on the pieces of art. So I'm just going to show you a couple pictures um, and really to read this book and to appreciate this book, I think the best way to do it is sit down and make sure you have plenty of time to look at each piece of art. As you can see, um, the art is also accompanied by a paragraph which explains what you're looking at in the um, picture. It also shows or it also tells you the medium and the time frame that it was printed in. But the wide variety of art styles I think means there's going to be something there for everyone. Obviously none of us can know exactly what some of these creatures looked like. We don't have a record of that time. But each artist can kind of take their own unique style along with the relevant scientific information that is available and turn it into something interesting. Some of these artists are a little more or a little less concerned with exact realism, as you can see from this artist here, which, um, let me see if I can find the name. This is Greer Stothers. He has a little bit less of maybe a going for the realism style that some of the other artists are, but I think each artist can contribute a different view or a different, um, yeah, a different perspective to paleo art. Another thing that I like is at the beginning of each section so it's divided by sections by artists so all the artists work are in one section at the beginning of an artist's section they include a paragraph where they talk about where they come from how they got engaged with paleo art and just some more relevant information including projects they've worked on if they've worked on projects one thing that i thought was really cool in reading all of these artists work is first of all it enables you you have the names and you have the information so if you want if you like the art of one of these artists you can easily pursue um, there are online or find other books or works that they have put out. So I do like that. Obviously crediting the artist is always a good thing, but I also like to see how many people, um, the different ways that people came into paleo, paleo art and the number of people who just pick this up as a hobby as an adult. So not everyone here were people who liked paleo stuff as a kid for lack of a better term and then followed that passion all the way through adulthood. They're people who maybe rediscovered their love for this as an adult or even hold a different day job, a totally different day, day job and are just doing this or have reconnected with this as a hobby, which I thought was really cool. I liked the, the demonstration that there's various paths to becoming an artist. There's various ways that you can engage in art and all these people are ultimately just doing something they love and sharing, at least I hope they love doing it, and sharing the results with us, the reader. This is a beautiful book. I really, really love it. It actually reminds me of this other like ancient sea monsters book that I got from the library and checked out that I thought was super, super cool, but I thought it was well done. I liked the selection. I think the people who did the editing for this book really picked a wide variety of artists who had different 
experience levels, skills, and styles and put it together in a way that kept everything interesting. I think the information that was included with each picture was enough. It was enough to give you as the reader the information you needed if you wanted to pursue it further. And it was just a really well done book and I really, really appreciated it. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in, I say go for it. Pick yourself up a copy either at uh, the library or a local bookstore and see what you think. See the different artists, the work, and let me know which ones are your favorite. I would love to hear it. I highly recommend. I think a lot of people would enjoy it and I think it would be enjoyed by a wide range, why <laughs> I can't speak, wide range of ages. So let me know um, if you have this book, if you've read this book, if you've read anything similar, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching my book review and I hope you have a great rest of your day.